Well, health experts are hoping to draw attention this week to eating disorders that affect an estimated 30 million Americans. This week is National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. And joining us tonight are Janice Werner, a registered dietitian at Rogers Memorial Hospital in Madison, and Jenna McCormick, who co-directs the Eating Disorder Support Network. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Janice, I would think the biggest problem combating eating disorders is that so many people who are affected by them suffer in silence. You know, that's true because you can look at someone and not know they have an eating disorder. Mm -hmm. and, um, and sometimes people are in denial. Um, and sometimes they don't know where to go for help. Mm -hmm. And what exactly are we talking about? What is an eating disorder? Well, um, it, it can be anorexia where people are restricting and a low weight, bulimia where they're eating and compensating in some way, um, like vomiting or excessive exercise or binge eating. Um, so it runs the gamut and it runs the severity too of those disorders. A lot of people I don't think realize that there are significant resources in Madison for people who struggle with yes. eating disorders. What are some of the programs yeah, that are absolutely. available here? So you're going to find a lot of different levels of care. Um, what what intensity do you need? What acuity do you have? And in Madison we have a great uh, plethora of outpatient providers. Mm -hmm. um, we also have an intensive outpatient program at Edelweiss. Um, we do have Rogers Memorial Hospital, which provides a partial hospitalization program. Mm -hmm. um, now that's all that's in Madison. There are other resources just outside of Dane County, but here we do have a lot of support resources and support groups too to kind of add to your care. How does a loved one recognize this and how do you convince the sufferer to, that they need help? Well, you know, it can be challenging sometimes to mm -hmm. um, convince someone to come in for treatment. And I think the best thing that family members can do if they see signs that their loved one may have an eating disorder, you know, weight loss or um, running to the bathroom after they eat, things like that, that they might bring that up with this person and um, gently um, talk to them about what's going on and then maybe explore together what the resources are for treatment. Well, eating disorders are tricky because a lot of times it doesn't have anything to do with food. Is that, that, is that true? That's absolutely right. Often it has very little to do with the food and so much more to do with a coping strategy, mm -hmm. dealing with stress or trauma, um, anxiety. And so teasing those two apart is what happens in, in their in treatment. Therapy. So an eating disorder then is a manifestation of depression or anxiety or something else or is that simplifying it too much? Jenna, what do you think? I, you know, I think it's going to be different for every person, but I think that's a, a fair statement. It is not just about your body image, not just about losing weight. Um, and it's not just a coping skill, but that's a good way to identify that something else is going on and that these are so complex that you do need to look at everything else, not just the behaviors. And is the treatment pretty effective? Um, well, yes, it, it, it is. Um, but sometimes people, you know, depending on where they are in their recovery, they might need more than one bout of treatment because mm -hmm. it's such a complicated issue and so long standing for many individuals that it does take a long time to unwind all these behaviors um, and explore their, how their, their road to recovery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And is this something that is, affects men as well as women, or is it still predominantly women and, and young girls? You know, it's an equal opportunity really? illness. Um, men, women, older, younger, um, transgender individuals, it's, it's across the gamut of individuals. Well, let's give uh, folks a phone number to call the Eating Disorder Support Network, 608-695-2100. Thanks for being with us today. It's very Great to see both of you. Thank, Thank you so much.